Hi, Nurse Linda here. Thought of the day lets you, me, and this lamppost talk. I get this question a lot. Why didn't I get an LH surge? Why didn't I get a peak? Most often when I look at y'all's charts, it's not that you didn't get a peak, it's that you didn't get a peak yet. Be patient, keep testing. Please, I notice this often too. You guys skip days sometimes. I'm telling you, karma is the B word and you will ovulate on the day you don't test. So don't miss any days. When you get close to your fertile window, I want you to test twice a day, about eight hours apart, okay? So yes, it's true. You're gonna tootle along with a whole bunch of lows for a long time. And that's normal because there's no other job in our body for LH, so it's always generally low. And then you'll get your peak, your LH surge, and then it usually will go back to lows. Doesn't mean it won't zigzag around a little bit, sometimes it will. And if you're somebody who's PCOS, then we have a higher baseline level of LH, or even if you have a regular cycle, you often have a higher baseline level of LH, and that will cause a lot more highs. But again, you haven't got your peak, generally it's because you just haven't got it yet. Keep on testing. I love you guys.